photojournalist Devin White brings us the highlights from that event. Vanessa, the video shows a flight attendant doing everything she could to stop an argument from getting physical on board a Spirit Airlines flight moments after it landed here at Boston Logan Airport late last night. What a win. It was such a special night here at TD Garden, not just because of the atmosphere and the thrilling win, but because this was the very first time that a watch party with all of these fans, not just here at TD Garden, but in Boston, really happened. Now, I'll show you that the celebrations have already begun. We won game three again in a really tight one but as fans are filing out it doesn't tell the full picture every seat in this stadium was accounted for tonight more than 16,000 seats filled and for game four for banner 18 on Friday it's sold out again firefighters from eight different towns teamed up to fight the flames that have ravaged this home across the street from where we're standing turning it into a pile of rubble firefighters had to make constant trips to a nearby lake for more than four hours to get the amount of water necessary to prevent the fire from flaring back up. The neighbor who's lived here on Beacon Hill for more than three decades tells me he's never seen anything like it. He took photos of the coyote being lassoed by an animal control officer after the animal darted down this brownstone line street and into this alley. The water really made a river out of the road and people's yards. You can see just how high it got here. And this is just one area now cleaning up. She says the man who showed up here and tried to set her home ablaze isn't a stranger and came here on a mission to wreak havoc, shattering her window, setting something on fire, then hurling it inside. The solar eclipse officially came to an end here in Boston less than an hour and a half ago, but the hundreds who gathered here on Boston Common are still talking about what they saw together in awe and wonder. People have been camped out here on the Common, mainly around the Soldiers and Sailors Monument near Frog Pond, since the early afternoon hours to catch a prime spot to see this themselves with mild spring weather and mostly clear sky making for near perfect viewing conditions. Here in Boston, the partial eclipse began at 2.16 this afternoon and reached its peak at 3.29 with nearly 93% of the sun blocked by the moon's shadow. While it wasn't nearly as dramatic as totality, the sky got noticeably darker. The crescent is getting smaller. It's really weird. You can actually see the moon moving. Um, and yeah, it's getting darker. It's just a test of the things that you can control. That's the biggest thing is like if you get into trying to worry about things you can't control, uh, then it doesn't put you in the best possible position to win. We're out there just competing and trying to have that right mindset um, each and every day. So um, we talked all year about not skipping steps and it's no different now. Uh, this is unique for a lot of us. Uh, it's kind of the quickest we've ever gotten through um, a first, second, and obviously a third round. Uh, you know, a lot of the previous years we had a couple game seven series uh, that, you know, just kind of extend the playoffs. So uh, I think it was great for us to close out series when we were supposed to. Uh, and it's afforded us to have this, this nice break. Um, and, you know, obviously the work we put in through the regular season that we get to start the finals at home. If you're looking at your screen, the footage we filmed on Sunday night on the eve of the so-called crackdown is to the left, showing a row of mostly tents. To the right is what it looked like on Wednesday night, the tents replaced with tarps. I think they really tried to do it, but what is, there's no good answer. Kerry, he says he's proud of the students who have been camped out here for more than 24 hours now. You can hear them still chanting with momentum at this hour. Others in the Jewish community say these demonstrations are making them uncomfortable on the first night of Passover. We will be here until the college meets all of our demands. Students who have set up encampments on college campuses across the Boston area, including Emerson, MIT, Tufts, and Harvard, say they won't be budging until their schools prove they've cut all financial ties with Israel. We are following on the tradition of popular university, which is the idea of students taking back the institutions that they are a part of. President Joe Biden's motorcade departed Boston's theater district after his third and final fundraiser of the night in Massachusetts at the Schubert Theater, headlined by singer-songwriter James Taylor. Just a block away from the private event where the president appealed to wealthy donors, hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters blasted his priorities. We are really questioning what he's campaigning on because he hasn't delivered on really any of his major promises to the American people, yet he has limitless amounts of money to send to Israel to facilitate a genocide of the Palestinian people. Biggest 
The rally, organized by the Boston branch of the Party for Socialism and Liberation, happened as Biden's approval ratings are the lowest of his presidency. We're here now, and it seems, you know, it was just like yesterday. Those memories never faded. Less than two weeks away from the 11th anniversary of the Boston Marathon bombing that forever changed the lives of Jackie Webb and Paul Norton, the couple is reminiscent of how far they've come. Now parents to two-year-old and six-month-old daughters. From the very beginning, it was instilled in us that we would give back. We wanted to give back. Webb and Norton, who suffered severe burns and shrapnel injuries that resulted in the loss of his right leg, are now giving back in a major way. We want to celebrate those people that have been in trauma that didn't have, you know, the public behind them like we did. Webb's brother-in-law, J.P. Norton, who also lost his right leg from the first explosion back in 2013, also proudly stands behind that message that was on display at the charity's first large fundraiser, One Boston Night, at the Sugar Factory in Faneuil Hall. We were so lucky to have everybody reach out and take care of us, so to pay it forward is great. In their latest act of paying it forward, the Webb Norton Foundation announced a grant for a 19-year-old who's being treated at Tufts after suffering from heart failure. 25 shots is unbelievable. Don't even have no name, no number, no face, or no nothing. Neighbors who live near Ramsey Park in Roxbury are breathing a sigh of relief after a barrage of gunfire was unleashed near the field where a Little League game was happening, forcing kids and spectators to take cover. Very sad I have a 12-year-old son. You know, I don't want him in this type of environment. Boston police rushed to the scene on Shamit Ave near Mass Ave to reports of more than 20 shots fired and found spent shell casings scattered on the sidewalk and street and several cars pierced with bullets. I woke up the other morning with my alarm clock stating that Mark was going to be here and I never got so fast out of bed in my life. My mom is the biggest fan ever, so I need to stop and grab some chicken. I just love him. I mean, I'm from Boston, and he represents Boston. I mean, everybody who knows Boston, it, it, you connect it with Mark, you connect it with the Wahlbergs. He is an icon in Boston, for sure. I'm a huge fan. If you're from Boston, you have to be a huge fan. You know, we'd all rather a Stanley Cup than the records, but yeah. 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 Good? Definitely going to share with my mom and my dad. They're going to be very excited. Hi. Nice to meet you. And we came in to, no, we to say Mark hi, and we love Mark Wahlberg. We're like, why is everybody waiting in line? And we yeah. asked, and we're like, oh my gosh, we have to stay for this. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. You gotta so. pinch yourself. A lot of people know the brand and are aware of it, but to feel the product, be able to touch it, feel it before they purchase it, it's cool. So we want to kind of establish it, and then uh, we'll be coming here very soon. I love the quality of the clothes, it's super soft. <laughs> good friend, uh, even better person in terms of like the work that he's doing and him being back in community, you know, great to see him and I wanted to be able to show up and show some love to this boy. My boys love Ted, the Ted movie. We okay, follow him all the time, we watch the movies all the time at home and I just want his dream to come through. The feeling is mutual, there's a lot of love and appreciation. They know I'm a very humble guy and come from humble beginnings, but they also know that, you know, hard work has afforded me to do lots of incredible things and I'm encouraging everybody else to be the best version of themselves. I remember watching these shows when I was, before I got to the league, so like, when I got to Boston and was able to meet him, it was even more special. I mean, to know him as a person, know him as a human, he's been a phenomenal for me and my family. Congratulations, Boston 25 on 20 years of zip trips. God bless. 25 I have more. Here to come.